Greetings, special centurions, and welcome, fellow YouTubers, back to Lorien. In the last episode, we started out as someone who had been left for dead. Ronan, the adventurer, was attacked by bandits uh, and left without any equipment, any items. We ended up spawning north of Markarth, and it was actually, luckily for us, quite a simple journey to make it to Markarth. We only had, we only had to run away from one wolf. Uh, and now we are currently in Markarth trying to make some money so that we can start purchasing equipment. Uh, in that vein, in that interest, I have gone into the Markarth ruins to try and hunt for Dwuma metal that we can smelt down. Uh, that we can smelt down and turn into ingots. The spade weighs five. It's not very... No, let's drop it. Uh, we've also got... We also found a pickaxe, a dwarven dagger. Found a potion. So yeah, we've got a bunch of stuff that we can sell now, which is really cool. Main thing being all this Druma stuff. But there's a couple that are really ridiculously heavy. Like that's 25, you don't get much for it. So I'm going to drop that. And uh, hopefully there'll be more lighter, smaller alloys or metal whatevers that we can pick up somewhere around here. Ooh, like here, for instance. Ooh, is that a spider? There's a spider there, chat. Let's fuck it up. Shit, it's got friends. It's got friends. There's so many spiders. I didn't think there'd be that many. Back, spiders, back. Oh, they hurt so much as well. This may have been a bad idea. There's so many spiders. Ah, run. I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. I'm stuck. I'm literally stuck. I'm actually stuck. This is ridiculous, right? I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. Aha, here I can take you on one at a time. Oh, they got me. They got me good. <laughs> oh shit, it just respawns you. It doesn't load. Jeez, okay. Oh, I got munched again. I got munched properly that time. Huh? Now where the fuck am I? Am I in wind? Am I in fucking white, white run? I think I've been teleported to white run. What the fuck? Yeah, this is white run. What the hell am I doing? In the temple of Kinareth or whatever in white run. <laughs> okay, so when you die, it just respawns you somewhere randomly. That's a bit. I don't know how I feel about that. doesn't even take you back to your load point or somewhere nearby or whatever. It just spawns you in a random place in the middle of Skyrim. So we're now in Whiterun chat. That's so bizarre. We can't afford it. Okay. It took me weeks well, as useful as it is to randomly be in Whiterun all of a sudden, 
I think I'm going to load it to where we were uh, and carry on from there. This time we won't take on the spiders. I didn't realise there'd be so many. There was like one spider that I was going to go kill and then now there were just like suddenly hundreds. Let's crouch and the spider doesn't detect us. It totally knows I'm here. It's defending its territory, chat. It's not going to attack. It's ob obviously defending its lair. Because it's not coming towards me. It's not being aggressive. But it went off on its, its back legs. And put its front legs up, like, threateningly. So it's obviously, like, just guarding its territory. Right, let's uh, drop that shovel. Now we're under carry weight. There should be iron ore here. I think I saw, yeah. Uh, an emerald. Nice. Uh, now we're over encumbered again. Do I want to drop anything or do I want to just walk like this? Uh, let's drop something. How much are we ever encumbered by? We're ever encumbered by one. Oh, wooden plate. We can drop that. Now we're not over encumbered. Oh, you have to be beneath your encumbrance weight. Okay. Do him a cog. Do him a level. That you can melt, that you can melt, that you can't. It's probably the, but worth the least, so we'll drop that. Okay, that's as far as we can get in the ruins for the moment because there's too many spiders ahead of us to um, fight through without any armor or any proper weapons. So let's, uh, let's skedaddle. We'll go and melt this down into ingots. Sell those ingots to the blacksmith and see if we can purchase something with the money we make. We need about 250 septims, guys. When I've got 250 septims, that'll be enough money to hire the carriage outside to take us to Rifton. And then the rest of the money will be enough to get us through the Rifton gate because there's a toll you have to pay they shake you down the guards shake you down outside Rifton you have to pay a toll so the rest of the money will go on the toll will get us into Rifton once we're in Rifton we'll join the thieves guild and then um, it's just money from their chat once we're in the thieves guild we can walk around sneaking uh, sneak snonking stealing pickpocketing and doing all that stuff uh, it'll be the easiest way for us to make money initially like, and the easiest way for us to level up a bit as well if we're um, considering we're not very powerful at the moment. Uh, that will be the easiest way for us to gain levels and get power, joining the Thieves Guild. Anything that's indirect, that's not directly combative, uh, that can level us up and make us more powerful, that will be the way to go. Where's the smelt? I can't talk. Mullish will beat me if I stop working. Mm hmm. Oh, interesting. They've changed it. So you can't just melt down scrap metal into dwarven ingots, you need powder now as well. Well that's new, okay. So maybe we won't be able to sell all this stuff. Maybe I'm... <laughs> I've been thwarted, chat. Been thwarted by the game's additions to things. Can I sell this stuff need to you? Need a new blade? No, but I want to sell a load of shit to you. Hmm. Blades, helmets, pretty much oh, anything to Thank suit your goodness. needs. Thank goodness. 
Amulet of RK is worth 48. I might sell that. Let's sell all this. How much money she got? 2,211. That's fine. Emerald, Garnet. Uh, we'll keep the Iron Ore. We've now got 453 chat. That is enough. That Until is enough to get us to rift him. And from there we shall grow and bloom and blossom. Like the fabulous powerful tree that we are. Really? Ow. Kitty cat. Kitty, 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 kitty. <laughs> he just stood there like, oh shit. You, are you touching yourself? What are you doing there? This is so inappropriate. Oi! Move it. What do you think you're... This is just... Take it into your bedroom at least. That's disgusting. She's a dead person. She shouldn't even be here. She should be... Thank you. Put those hands away, you filthy cur. Right. Let's go to Riften. Let's go to Riften and start thievesing. Thieves in chat. That's how we're going to make our monies. That's how we're going to make a name for ourselves as well. By thieves in lots. Looking forward to getting out and exploring the world, but for the moment, we are just way too weak. We've got no armor whatsoever. We've got barely any skills. We've got nothing but a dwarven dagger to fend enemies off with. It is not good, chat. Where's this carriage? There it is. Traveling in the reach is dangerous. You need a good carriage. I'd like to hire a carriage. Where do you want to go? Uh, where the fuck are these? The rift, is that right? Uh, mm -hmm. I think it's the rift, it's Riften. I'm not sure they've changed all the names everything, chat. Let's drop a save here in case you go to the wrong right. place. Hmm? Where do you want to go? Uh, the rift. Going straight through, or did you want to stop somewhere along the way? Take me straight to Riften. Climb and back, and we'll be off. Okay. Okay. Cool. You'll want to watch yourself in Riften. A lot of ways to get yourself in trouble in that town. Yeah, there's a lot of ways to make a fortune as well, chat. That's how we're going to be doing it. Oh God, look, that thing looks disgusting. Bloody Falca. Oh no, they're called Falma, aren't they? Not Falcas. <laughs> Got the name wrong. Rift and Stables, you are tired, which reduces your total available magic. Represented by a dark region in the magic spa. Fatigue also decreases how quickly you'll, you recover magic and stamina and the effectiveness of potions. Sleep in a bed to reduce your fatigue. Sleeping indoors allows for more restful sleep than sleeping outdoors. Cold. You are cold, which reduces your total health. Represented by a dark region in the health bar. Cold can also cause you to move more slowly. Stand near a fire or move to a warmer area to warm up. A sun or snowflake icon near the camp compass indicates if you are getting warmer or colder. You can slow down how quickly you become cold by wearing armor with high warmth. Eating hot soup and holding a torch can also improve your warmth rating. Oh no, chat. It's done that thing where... It's done that thing where I've gone into third person. Let's just drop out, see if we can fix this. And I'm going to unplug my controller. I'm going to plug in my mouse. Which has the wheel on it. I'm now going to go back to first person. Now I'm going to unplug my mouse and then plug in the controller and hopefully everything will work fine again. No, it's not. That sucks. I wouldn't wander here alone at night. Come on now. I 
carriage is the safest way to travel. Not working. Oh dear, we had this problem yesterday. It worked fine after a while. I can't remember how I got it to work. Plug you. Plug you in. Hold there. Before I let you into Riften, you need to pay the vic for the privilege of entering the city. What does it matter? That's illegal. How could you, law enforceable things, do this? Persuade. Call it what you want. If you don't pay, then you're not getting in. Okay, it's only 621 gold. Fucking don't want hell. in, huh? Fine. Have a good walk to the next city. We're gonna have to load it, chat. First off, this isn't my mouse isn't working properly. So let's unplug that. Let's try plugging in the controller now. And seeing if that works in there, and then unplugging the mouse. No. This is really frustrating. Well, it looks like we might be playing the game third person mode because if it keeps dropping into third person mode and I can't get the controller working after I plug my mouse in again to switch out of third person mode, then, and there's no button for it either, is there? No button to fix it. Now I can't, the click doesn't work basically. It's hard to explain what's going on, Chet. It looks like everything's working fine, but it's not. Like I can't click on stuff and I can't use the controller. It like it gets stuck halfway between controller and halfway between keyboard and mouse. And um, it's an absolute nightmare. T default, enter. Unplug the mouse. Plug in the controller. See now the, now the controller is controlling the mouse stick, which is not what you want. You want the controller to be controlling the character, not the mouse stick. For one thing, it's impossible to um, see it's impossible to actually control. So I'm gonna have to control or delete this. It was working fine yesterday when I did it yesterday. I was able to fix it by unplugging the mouse and plugging the keyboard and plugging the controller in. Now it doesn't do it. Yeah. Soon we'll meet Skyrim of Elves. Bloody just. All right. Control or delete it. This is frustrating. We're gonna have to play third person because it keeps swapping to third person. Unless I can figure out a um, a, a button that uh, is it working? No, it's not working. The A button doesn't work. I can't look around. The Imperials think us all lawless beasts. I'm proof of their ignorance. Okay, let's uh, unplug that. Control Alt Delete. Task Manager. End Skyrim. Ah, oh, how frustrating. Close that. Right, plug this mouse back in. Not the mouse. Plug the controller back in 
and then reload Skyrim from the start with the controller plugged in and then it should have the controller working. This is going to take about five minutes or so to load chat, unfortunately. It's quite a long load process because it has to load up like the hundreds of mods that has it installed. But yeah, basically when it goes third person, the only way to get out of third person is to plug in a mouse with a wheel in it and then scroll in the wheel, as far as I can tell. If any of you know a button to get on the controller to go from third person back to first person, I'd really appreciate it. Because now what we're having is difficulty, we're having problems. When we plug the mouse in, it then half registers the mouse and half registers the controller. And then neither of them work fully, neither of them have full functionality. So you get stuck between, you get stuck in some kind of like lawless wormhole where neither of them work. And you can't do, you can't control anything. Um, so if we can't work out a way using the controller to go from first person to third person and vice versa... We're just going to have to stick to being in third person uh, and just use the controller in and play in third person, which is really frustrating, to be honest. But, you know, it's it's mod it's modded Skyrim. What do you expect? I mean, Beth Bethesda games aren't the best for, like, controller support and gr errors and glitches and things like that anyway. And then you add in 2,700 mods on top of that. It's like, is it no wonder that somewhere along the line everything gets blurred and you don't have full full proper controller support and mouse support without it getting fucked up and confusing but c'est la vie so yeah guys if any of you know of a way of using a controller and going from third person to first person uh if you could let me know in the comments down below i would hugely appreciate it it would definitely make my life easier and more enjoyable if i could if i knew how to do that on the control if there isn't a way of doing it or no one knows, no worries, guys. We'll just play it in third person. But I am thoroughly enjoying this. I'm liking everything they've done with it. I like the fact that in the survival mode in this uh, mod pack, there's heat and cold like there was in vanilla Skyrim survival mode. Um, I like how slowly your stamina regenerates. Uh, I like the fact that you can't just accidentally pick stuff up and end up thieving by mistake. The only way to thieve and pick up items that don't belong to you is by activating crouch sneak mode, sneak snonk mode, and then picking the item up. So it makes it much more intentional. Um, I'm liking the music. I'm liking... I like absolutely everything about the game so far. The only query I have, the only qualm I have, is that when you die, it seems to respawn you. It just auto respawns you in a, in a somewhere else, like in a in another city, another town, another place, another area. It just randomly respawns you somewhere else in Skyrim, which I don't like at all. It should just load your save. I don't know why it doesn't. That seems like a stupid way of doing it, because then you can just jump around all over the place, get to places that you shouldn't be able to get to or that you couldn't get to before, uh, and stuff like that, which is really foolish. Right, let's see if the controller's working again now. We're going to have to stay in Markov for longer than I anticipated. Getting into Riften is going to cost 630 gold. That is insane. That is so much money. That's like more than most people make in a year just to get into the city. Absolute jokes. I wonder if you go around the back of Riften if they shake you down there as well. That might be something, we, that's a possibility we could check out. Like go through the back gate. Hmm, that's something we can consider. I'm just hoping the controller's working again properly. I really don't want to have to play on mouse and keyboard. That would suck. I hate mouse and keyboard for games like this. 
just doesn't work. Maybe for FPSs, but even then, I really dislike it. You need a controller. Okay, so we're continuing from the last save game. We should be just outside Riften in third person mode. I'm not going to plug the mouse in. We know that it doesn't work anymore. I managed to get it working yesterday. I simply plugged the mouse in, wheeled, scrolled in to first person mode, unplugged the mouse and then replugged the controller and it switched to controller no problem, but now it's not doing it. It's playing silly buggers. So, yeah. What is it doing? Okay. So we're still at Markov. <coughs> Controls. Toggle point of view, right stick. Ah, oh, you click and hold it. Ah, oh, okay, that's that's how you do it. Okay, good. All right, it should be fine now moving forward, guys. So we can either go to Riften and try and. Um, I don't owe you money, do I? Try and get through the back gate, or we can just stay here until we've got the money. All right, then. Here, let me give you some food. Have an apple. Butterflies! Butterflies! More butterflies. We're going to invest in alchemy chat. We're going to be investing loads in alchemy, which reminds me, actually, I need to look at the um, perk trees. It looks like it's the same as the one I, it's the same as the Novus mod pack. Maybe not. No, it's not. It's different. Okay, so between episodes, I need to look at the skill trees and work out what I want to get. Finesse, the art of pickpocketing, taking risks and elevating yourself. Nimble fingers. Yeah, this is completely different. So I'm gonna have to look through the perks and find the perks that I wanna get. Uh, have an idea of what kind of build I wanna do. But I'm not gonna do that now. I'm gonna do it in between episodes because it takes a long time to read through all of these different perk trees. Uh, for now, we've got three perks to increase. Let's just do the ones that are obviously going to benefit us. The ones that we're definitely going to use. So two-handed, block, heavy armor, that kind of thing. Conditioning, okay. Well, we don't have any heavy armor at the moment. 20% more damage with two-handed swords. Sure you want this perk. You need 215. What did we have? We only have... Oh, we have 215, okay. We have one-handed 25, speech 20, because we just got a bonus. Enchanting 10, blocking 15, heavy armor 10. What's evasion? Evasion is the art to evade enemy blows and allows the character to defend efficiently. He wears only light or even no armor. Okay, so that's the light armor tree, basically. What's Wayfarer? 
Uh, lock picking. Beach. Alchemy. Well, that's cool. You can get night vision out of um, alchemy. We'll probably get that. He's got some pretty useful stuff. So we definitely want to get magic uh, alchemy up to at least 75. Yeah, we want to get alchemy up to 75 if we can. So we've got alchemical law, improved elixirs, night vision, catalysis. immunization and then fortified muscles that's really useful actually uh, we're not like I said we're not going to do any magic this run at all so there's no point even looking at those including enchanting smithing will be useful though well the first thing we need to get is let's get the alchemy our sneak could be useful uh, let's take one in stealth. Because stealth will be useful when we're so weak. What does Wayfarer do? Cheap tricks. You have learned the basics of picking locks and carrying found goods. Three lock picking expertise. 25 carry weight. And forge lockpicks with craftsmanship. That could be useful. The uh, the carry weight could be very useful. And then advanced lockpicking, even more carry weight. More carry weight. So basically we can increase our carry weight by going through the wayfarer tree. How much is our carry weight actually? Only 120. Yeah. Yeah, because I don't plan on getting too much more stamina. I intend to put most of my stat points into health. So we're probably going to need Wayfarer to increase our carry weight. So let's take that now. Take one in there for carry weight. Lone Wolf. I don't think I'm going to travel alone. I'm going to need uh, allies. Yeah, we're going to go down here, the Wayfarer path. Followers, followers. Yeah. So we're definitely going to take some Wayfarer. That's really useful in general. Finesse. Found body. Sound mind. And I think the third perk we'll get is alchemy, so we can 
start brewing potions. I don't think you can brew potions until you've got alchemical lore. You've acquired basic elemental insights and understand how to work with the laboratory. Thus, you can now craft your own potions and poisons and determine two alchemical properties of consumed ingredients. Yeah. So we'll get one in alchemy so that we can... Um, so that we can actually start brewing potions. Right, back to Markov to make some money. So what am I supposed to do? Never leave the house? You want that ending? You're closing the stall, and that's final. You want to give up now, out of fear? Is that what we're going to teach our daughter? Need something? Mullish. Big orc fella. Can't miss him. Don't get involved in that nonsense. Just want to work. All right, then. Reputation's not high enough for anything like this. I need to uh, warn someone. Warn Ogmund about Ondolomar. Let's warn him. This is our find him. He should be around here somewhere. I think he's. Oh, he's up there. Okay. Yes, I have. Adara made the rings herself. She's learning to bend them. Perfect. Thank you. Oh, he should be in the. That's his house. That means he's in the uh, tavern. Redguard craftsmanship in every piece. So he's in here somewhere. Now I know if you don't warn him, if you if you hand him over to the Thalmor, they give you a shitload of money. So he could do that, but that's good in the short term because we need money. But in the long run, this guy's a trainer in speech. And speech is really useful for persuading people to do stuff. Obviously. Come on in. Um, the and persuasion is incredibly strong drink and clean rooms. Incredibly useful in this game, so. You a fighting man? How about a little bet? I'm drunk. A hundred septum says I can take you. Milk drinker. Arnleaf and Sons Trading Company. I'm a port, but we don't get any shipments in. Four swore and attack every caravan. So all I do is sit. What can an old skull do for you, huh? Like training the art of speech, see? He can train you in speech. Time or after you for task worship, you should be careful. Oh, really? I've spent my life serving Talos. I don't plan to stop now. No matter what the Empire says, I don't want some snotty elf telling me what gods I can and can't worship. This is a great service you've done for me. I will not soon forget. Many thanks, and please, take this gift. I hope it's a fitting token to honor the deed. 50 septim. Good fighting to you. Is that all he gave me? 50... I'm not complaining, I'm just saying is there anything else he gave me? Or was it literally just the... Um, it looks like it was just the 50 septums. Which was fine. Uh, let's sell some of this food to the bartender. This is the Silver Blood Inn. I'll let you figure out who owns it by yourself. Take a look. Keep the rest of that for us, Remember. for ourselves. We've got a potion we can sell as well. 
I just remembered we got that potion of blacksmithing. I'm going to go sell that. Man, it's glitchy. <laughs> like teleporting all over the place like Spider-Man. Well, Spider-Man doesn't teleport, but you know what I mean. Thinging around all over the place like Spider-Man. Got something? Just about everybody in here. Give a holler if you have any questions. Good to see you. Ah, so you're an alchemist then. Oh, we've suddenly got 665 gold. Do we have any... Okay, how, how do you... What's going on? Why can't I move? Oh, you don't have enough empty bottles. Oh, I see. You don't have enough empty bottles. You need empty bottles to do alchemy. Interesting. That's cool. That's cool as shit. Okay, so that's something else we're going to have to save up for as well. Right, let's go lie to this elf. I don't want to hand him in because I want him to be able to train me in speechcraft later. So we're going to have to tell the elf to fuck off. Fuck off. He's not celebrating Talos. He's not worshipping no god. Get out of here, you fucking fucking out. Chat, he's up there. Discuss the force wall. It's not that simple. The Dominion is here, and we're watching you. Yeah, well, you don't know that I'm allowed to lie to you, do you? There's no evidence that Armor supports Talos. Hmm. Most interesting. I suppose thanks are in order. Yeah. Thank you. Here, this is for you. Get away from here before I get angry. Okay, 50 money. I'll take it. Get thanks. out of my way. Ha ha. Ha ha, I lied to you and I got money for it. Look at all this stuff, chat. We need all this stuff. This is what we need. This is what will get us sorted. reason that wasn't stealing I don't know why we'll take it anything else around here that's not stealing I'm the Jarl's personal blacksmith but that doesn't mean I can't sell you a few pieces for a fair price hmm, blades helmets pretty much anything what have to I suit got your for needs sale? oh we can stand the hide shield that we picked up for 13 I think I'm going to do that. If we sell the amulet of RK for 51, we might just have enough to get to Riften soon. So I'm going to do that. 708. We could sell the Dwarven Dagger as well. That would get us to Riften. Let's not do that just yet. Depends on what you need. A light armor is good for travel. Less to carry. A heavy armor weighs you down but no true warrior goes without it. If you want some heavy armor, I might have a deal we could work out. I need a dangerous heart. 
Jarl wants me to cool his new sword in blood. You get me a heart, I get you some armor. Interested? Hells yeah. Good hunting. I'll just go find your day drink, cut well. it up. No problem. Easy as pie. Easy as pie, chat. We'll fuck him up with our day our dwarven dagger. We just need a tiny bit more money. Tiny bit more money, chat, and we'll be able to get to Riften and start stealing. Please, sir, can I have a silver coin? Can I have a septum, love? I've nearly got enough saved up to get out of here. To get out of this shithole. Uh, I just want to check if the books I've picked up are stealing. Yeah, they're stealing. So you can read the book for free, but if you pick it up, it counts as theft. That is good to know, because I was about to totally pick that book up in front of the Thalmor. Oh, look at all this meat, chat. Look at all this meat. My mouth is drooling. I'm salivating. So what was that I could pick up? Was there something I could pick up here? No, it was... I could churn butter, apparently. Oh, you can normally chop wood, can't you, for money? Like somewhere out of the city, you can, um, somewhere outside of the city, can't you, uh, chop up wood for a few coins? Is that not something that can happen in this one? I don't know. Either way, we're stumped. I'm stumped. Oh, actually, there were still a few Dwumer items back in the, uh, back in the ruins I could pick up and sell to the blacksmith like, if I get really desperate. I might uh, do that. First, we need to go to the temple uh, and meet the guy who dropped the note in our pocket, the guy who slipped us the note. Oh, experiencing some lag here. What's going on? Come on, laptop. You can handle it. I believe in you. Yeah, we need to go in here. I think it's all the water effects are slowing down the laptop. As soon as we get out of uh, Markarth, we'll be fine. But I suppose Riften's got even more. Got just as many, even, water effects. I thought I was supposed to meet what's his face here. Have I not read the uh, note in this version? I think I have. Oh, I don't have it. Is it glitched or something? What happened to the note? I could have sworn I read the note that was said to meet... Meet what's-his-face. Ah, maybe not. Maybe I'm just imagining things. Did I not get the note? It said to meet the guy here. He seems to have just deleted the quest altogether. What time is it? 6 p.m. So where was he? He was down... He was down. What's on your mind? Who are you? Follow me, I need your help. Uh, until next time. Yeah. Don't want to pick up random followers. There he is. Down there. Let's go talk to him. See what he says. Because, uh... I could have sworn he asked us to meet him. Oh, we need a fishing rod. Found some floor fish scales. Need to get going. What is it? Do you know anything about the attack? No. 
I was just getting some fresh Why air. Why is the note, this, the note, the question disappeared? That's weird. It must have glitched. Either that or there's something I'm missing. Yeah, we're pretty desperate, chat. Looks like we're going back to the... Uh, we are going back to those dungeons, that dungeon, and picking up the rest of that Druma metal that was left behind. Because we've got no other way of making any money. And we're just shy of the amount we need to get us to Riften. All right then. She didn't have much to say, chat. Can we harvest this? No. Guess because that's stealing as well. Everything's stealing around here. It's ridiculous. This is the safest dungeon we can go in to get loot. So we're just going to pillage it of everything. Where did that shovel go I saw? Fatigued, yeah, that's fine. There was a shovel around here somewhere. Where is it? I want it. I want the shovel back. I should, there it is. A spade. I shouldn't have dropped it somewhere so inconspicuous. I thought these barrels were all empty. Maybe I just mis misunderstood. I don't know, maybe I just missed them. Or I was overburdened. I don't remember. Anything else we can possibly take? Another spade. I'll take the bucket. I'm, I'm desperate, chat. I'm absolutely desperate to get out of here. And go and make some money in Riften. Right, let's go see if we can sell all this stuff. All this shite. Can you pick that up? Yeah, I didn't know. I didn't realise you could pick that up. Drew my urn. Very nice. That means you can pick up the rest of these urns down here as well. If there are any. No. Lantern. Nothing there. Like this can be picked up. Take your buckets and I'm going to sell them. It's a pauper's life, chat. Right, we should be able to make it to Riften now after we sold all this stuff. And that's where we can start making our fortune.
Okay, guys, so that's the end of the episode so far, or the end of this episode, I should say. Thank you all so much for hanging out. I hugely appreciate it, guys. I hope you've enjoyed it. This is a bit of a slow start, I know, but, I mean, we're doing everything we can to pick up and get, um, get with the program. So, yeah, I'm going to end the episode there for now. Thank you so much for hanging out. I hugely appreciate it, guys. Be sure to smash that like button on your way out if you're having a good time and you want to see more Lorem. I'm going to be back tomorrow morning with another episode. Hopefully, I will see you all there for that. If not, I'll try and catch you in some other content I produce. I try and make content every single day now. So, sal wait till next time.